Hi, Murdoch here. Now, in this video, I'm going to be in the gym showing you a really good version of the club across shoulders or a club across the back exercise, but in the gym here. So with this stick, with this kind of broom handle, it just extends the club further. And what I'm doing here is just sat down, just getting basic mobility in my lower back. I'm very stiff generally in this area. So you can see I'm just doing quarter turns just to loosen it up, keeping the lower body still, just feeling everything just warm up. Now, what I want you to understand as well as doing this, you need to under get the rotator cuffs warmed up. So I'm just pulling that stick back behind my head as far as I can go. Again, this is, I've had an injury in my right shoulder, so this is always a sticking point for me. So I was just trying to do that just to get a little bit more mobility before I perform the main exercise. So be very careful, do this slowly, just like I talk about when you're on the first tee doing exercises. So what I'm doing now is just putting it gently behind my back, pulling my shoulder blades back, and then I'm gonna stand in posture, but with straighter legs. I want you to bend forward to, again, stretch out the lower back, Keep the legs quite straight here because I want you to feel the hamstrings warm up. I want you to feel a pulling here in the back of the legs. Keep your chin up, look forward, and just feel like you're pulling the back into a nice straight position as you stretch out the hamstrings. So then, again, this is just preparing yourself. You can do this on the first tee with a club across your shoulders. I'm just in the gym here voicing over because I don't want lousy gym, <laughs> gym music playing in the background to give me a copyright strike <laughs> so early on in my YouTube career. Anyway, so now I've got Rory on the left. Now, we can't swing like him. It's very unlikely that young people can, but he's so athletic, so flexible. We can use that as a model and a blueprint to try and see how close we can get. Now, you can see him at the top of the backswing here. His shoulders turn a good 120, 130 degrees. This is me maxing out at about 75 degrees. So what you're feeling here, while in posture, looking down at where the ball would be, is loading into that right knee and instep. Clear the top of the backswing. Now, as you perform down, you're clearing the left hip again keeping your eyes down, committing to the imaginary ball and the strike. You can see Rory here. He's very close, obviously, to the angles you're achieving here, or you're very close. Now, facing you, you can just see again that the spine angle stays constant throughout this exercise. So use a mirror to help you. And again, do it gently, but do it in a way where you can feel the load clear. Load clear you can feel the right shoulder staying down. Now when I turn into this position, and you can see Hovland popped up on the right hand side, as you hold this position, you can understand as well the discomforts are good. Tall pros are in this position. So just feel like you're just using it as an exercise, warming up all the golfing muscles. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, hope it helps. Like and subscribe, see you soon.